You uh, alluded to the trade earlier. So the Browns will get Deion Jones in a 2024 20, seventh round pick from the Falcons. Falcons get the Browns' 2024 20, sixth round pick. Now, Jones um, has started, was a Pro Bowler back in 2017. Career uh, grade 90.3 in coverage, sixth among the linebackers since um, 2016. Um, he was a Pro Bowler in 2017. Uh, he's coming off a shoulder injury, has been on IR, uh, did not play uh, up to that previous standard a season ago. But, again, it's a guy who has played a lot of games in the NFL, and the Browns at this point are looking for somebody that they can put in the middle of that field that can tackle a guy running the football. Well, you know, he he's he's a guy. And I talked to John Costco, pro football focus, probably about five minutes ago to get the scouting report on him. He's a guy who um, who, who has a great coverage grade. Um, he he kind of fell off a cliff last year. Now, maybe that was due to some injury. Maybe he's playing in a scheme that's not comfortable to him or really best accentuates what his skill set is. Now, the Cleveland Browns will take a flyer on him because they really didn't give up anything for it. Uh, late round pick to get a guy who seems seemingly is in the prime of his career a guy that knows the game a guy that could be put in the middle uh, uh, of that field anthony walker goes out and anthony walker was playing at 82 percent uh according to pro football focus so this guy that's going to give you somebody that can shore up the passing game however you still need some guys in the run game he's not a he's not a thumper He's not a guy that's going to be hitting guys in the backfield, uh, you know, guys that are going to be really stout in the run. He's decent. He's serviceable. But his main strength is the pass game. So when you're looking at it, there's still – one thing I am encouraged by is the fact that Andrew Barry um, understood what type of time it was and said, oh, no, we can't we can't live with that. We, we're, not going, we're not going to make it. Because we're count, everyone's counting it down to eleven games between she, with Deshaun Watson, and you can't lose too many more games to be in contention when Deshaun Watson gets back. So when you look at this, I'm still looking for Andrew Barry. I like the urgency. I like the sense of urgency that you got and fixing it. But please, you're gonna have to do that at the defensive tackle position because no linebacker can go downhill and make tackles if the defensive line is getting pushed back in their lap. That's not going to happen. We need to upgrade in defensive tackles. I don't know if we got to look at practice squads, waiver wires, whatever the case may be. Give a little money to Sheldon Richardson to come on back in here. Give a little extra money to Dominic Sue. It's nothing but a one-year rental before you get to the draft and kind of solidify our free agency. At the end of the day, to give your ch chance a, a self to make the playoffs and to do something special this year, you got to show up the defensive line. Linebacker was a start. D-line needs to be, a, you know, definitely a, sub, a priority for them as well.